this is one variety of fern that uh, that you will find inside cities and all particularly in moist shaded uh, cemented wall sides drainage sides and all you will find it peeping out and in bangalore also i've seen it on uh, uh, it will be growing in the cracks and crevices of walls and all that and uh, you can that correct details and all i'll write about the species in the video title now this one you can see the difference in greenery between this and that those other ferns so this one has a darker shade this one compared to the others so that's one way you can make out then the texture also is a bit uh, leathery not completely leathery but not soft also and then uh, that's how it looks underneath that these are the spores they are going to become seeds later and fly out but they are here so that happens underneath the leaf so this species is particularly suitable for city gardens why means it has some unique property that is it can suck up uh, some deadly heavy metals from the soil so if you are in uh, some lousy area and all polluted and all lot of cement dust and all accumulated construction waste and all then this species if you plant it has the ability to suck up uh, either cyanide or arsenic one of the two so that also i'll write in the details and i'll do one more video because this fern deserves it and i haven't covered it earlier in my videos so it's a good fern to have in the city very hardy also because you can see it occurring in the worst of places you don't have to go to any big forest in every town probably it's there in the moist locations where cement dust and all is there and uh, if it's very hardy also doesn't die easily it does well in pots but if you are in cement dust and all it will be more lush and nice it likes that kind of pollution so this is a good plant for bioremediation for removing toxic stuff from the sides of building and all after building construction and all the debris will be there De that building waste dust and all that is full of this uh, arsenic and heavy metals so this is a good species to use in such places inside cities and all because it detoxifies the place excellent garden plant hardy survives in the city atmosphere in the lousy polluted uh, by heavy metals type of soils that's all the characteristics needed to be grown in each and every city garden actually at least a few and if you have one or two mothers then the spores will spread down their own when these leaves die out and they will occupy all those places where such niches are available to them good fun